Okay, I've had quite a lot of fun with this uh, magnesium and carbon battery here. And uh, the way I've got this set up, I've decided what I have is a galvanic battery. And uh, the magnesium starts to get eaten away if you get it too wet and leave it in the water too long. Uh, it just uh, dissolves. <laughs> but anyway, I decided to keep it as long as I can uh, just by keeping it moist when I want to use it and letting it dry out. And uh, that way I can uh, play with it longer and I can rebuild it. But uh, um, anyway, I thought I would use this as long as I could just by getting it damp when I wanted to use it and then letting it dry out, which is how I've used my other batteries. Now the one over here, uh, this one here has been running for about four days there. I don't know if you can see that thing spinning around. And that's the one that's uh, the uh, carbon... Um, and uh, magnesium in a tube. It's a little different design. And that one is held up for some reason. So that may be a different kind of mechanism going on there. And that's been running for about four days and doing quite nicely. But this thing here, um, I've got it running uh, a flyback driver here. And uh, this worked out pretty good. I got quite a bit of light coming out of this arrangement where I'm taking the one and a half volts and just run it through a simple uh, one transistor oscillator circuit hitting the flyback uh, transformer and producing high enough voltage to light up this 110 volt LED bulb to about a third brightness I guess maybe a, a little bit better I'm going to plug this into a, a couple of double A's here let's just show us uh, see what it looks like when it's full bright and you can see the difference here and that's full bright right there so you see there's quite a bit of difference between what I'm producing with that cell and what uh, uh, when it's full bright. And that's with a couple of double A's. So just give you an idea of the difference. But I had a lot of fun with this uh, magnesium and carbon battery with pure water. And there's no other uh, chemical on that but just pure distilled water. And... Uh, it is a galvanic battery, I decided. I'm not getting any uh, spectacular special effect out of that. But it has been a lot of fun. Okay, that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching.